from where I started four months ago to where I'm at now, where it's almost 30K a month. This is just the last half of last year. A friend of a friend knew Dakota and kept this secret for me for months. It's been consistent around like $4,100 to $4,600 a month. I believe you made about 10K in dividends the last couple months. Yep. You never really think about money to purchase an asset and seeing those kinds of returns in such a quick amount of time. 40K, 50K a day sometimes. You guys like four, 5X the sales in a single month. The upside is remarkably good and the returns are are really good honestly i'm super excited i mean i honestly want to try to probably send you money every month it rolled and it rolled and it rolled to where it's done way better than i thought it would to the point where i'm overall making more money than i did at my career before i left i think one of the cool parts about what you're doing is just the fact that there's an exit at the end of it if you told me two grand a month i'd be like yeah that's kind of cool 10 grand yeah. a month four grand a month but we get to exit and then do it again yeah. <laughs> like Yes, please. And that's what we ultimately found that we really appreciated about your company was one thing that we love about real estate is that you buy the investment, you put in a management company, and then you don't have to do a whole lot. Let me tell you what I love about People's Equity Group. PEG is that bridge between your need to deploy capital into something that scales in a safe in predictable way and also gives you access to new technologies and new markets. So you take the old processes for de-risking capital deployment and you combine it with new fast growing markets and they provide an amazing opportunity for diversification in your portfolio. I just wanna be able to spend more time with my family and have my investments work for me. So that way I can create a trust fund or something to make sure that they're taken care of for generations to come. Like I said, I was pretty ignorant when it actually came to Shopify stores and what really was going to come out of them and just how profitable they are. I would love to turn around and put it back into more stores with you guys. I really couldn't be happier with how it's gone so far. I looked more up about e-commerce other than you guys, and they're saying e-commerce is just going to explode in 2022. So that's what made me a little bit more interested because I'd like to be ahead of the trends. I'm excited about the success. I'm excited about how they run things, but I'm glad about who they are. They know me. They care about what I'm trying to accomplish. They support me in accomplishing that, and they're willingness to invest in people and each other. It makes it just a really great experience. One of the things that I liked the most was the fact that they commit themselves to the spreadsheet that they share. So I felt like I would be losing more by not trying the opportunity. It's very passive. It's about the most passive thing I think you could do. Dakota does a great job every month, like clockwork of preparing the PLs and sending a nice loom video that sometimes I don't even look at. <laughs> so sorry. He does you know, take the time to explain, you know, what's going on in the store this month, you know, what happened, what they're looking to do next month. I love People's Equity Group. The ability to help people who have built something amazing to their top level of skill, like an e-com business owner who had a great product, but might not be the greatest at marketing, supply chain fulfillment, things like that. When these people have reached their limit and they raise their hand, People's Equity Group is able to step in, bring these people into the fold and create exponential growth. I have not seen it done at this level of professionalism and expertise anywhere else. I have a certain set of core values that I go through to measure whether I do business with people or not. Every single interaction that I've ever had with People's Equity Group has proven over and over that they meet my core values, which is a huge responsibility for me because people People trust me with their money and I can only invest with a high level of integrity and expertise that matches my core value plus the deepness of the relationships that People's Equity Group develops. I think the biggest mindset issue that I've seen because I do also share the opportunity with clients that I coach is, you know, they feel like it's too good to be true, like the exit. But I guess I come from the M&A world where I see businesses that exit all the time and it's normal to have a multiple, you know, two to 16 multiple. It's just normal when you sell a business. And that's basically what they're doing is at the end of the term, you know, they're rolling up this package of stores and selling it. So there's a, there's a multiple. I think it's genius the way they do it. I will absolutely reinvest and probably reinvest more and still have money left over. And I will use that money to keep reinvesting and reinvesting. So it really is like a diamond in the rough in terms of like, it's conservative, but brings you awesome returns. Because the only other thing that I found is buying a business, growing it and selling it. I mean, that's how the number one way people become millionaires is they started a business and they sold a business. 
this. And that's the model they're doing, but on an expedited timeline. It seems like you guys have really just gotten your operation to a point where it's just sort of rolling. And my mind was a little bit blown. Crypto, I have no idea. I'm just getting while the getting's good. In terms of sustainability, I don't know that I could like count on that to continue funding my future investments, but I do feel like I have more confidence in the e-commerce stuff continuing to perpetually like allow me to reinvest and reinvest and reinvest. We're here talking about how do we identify new markets. And I have played in a lot of markets and there's certain trends that I absolutely love, but where John and Finn and I sometimes arm wrestle is around investing in companies that are already profitable and doing things where I'm still addicted to really wanting to get in at the very beginning and do venture. And I'm slowly being pulled away from that into this model. It's the first time that I've seen something that just made so much sense that I couldn't even argue with myself.